In 1847, 25 men of German heritage founded the Deutsche Liederkranz der Stadt New York, one of many singing societies that came into existence before the Civil War. The club's long history has been filled with notable affiliations, such as the Metropolitan Opera and prestigious performances in cities including Boston, Chicago, and Philadelphia. They were even invited to perform for President Theodore Roosevelt at the White House. Many important German businessmen of the late 19th century were affiliated with the club. William Steinway of Steinway & Sons, society president from 1867 until 1896, raised enough money to build the original building at 111 East 58th Street. The building also held the funeral of newspaper editor and owner Oswald Ottendorfer in 1900. Other notable members included Walter Damrosch and Karl Schurz. The founding mission of the organization may have been to preserve and promote German culture and music, but throughout its 160-year history, the Deutsche Liederkonstellstadt has shown great allegiance to the United States. Members have given military service, their lives, and money to support the nation starting as early as the Civil War, when over 100 of the 500-plus members served in the Union Army. In World War I, the club offered the 58th Street building to the government for use as an auxiliary hospital. This support continued during the Second World War when club members gave generously by purchasing over $8 million worth of war bonds. Like many other organizations and companies of German heritage, the Liederkranz struggled with anti-German sentiments that arose during both world wars. In 1919, they changed their name to the Liederkranz of the City of New York and their official language to English. By the end of World War II, the club's membership suffered considerably from war casualties and the large 58th Street building was sold. After club members made generous donations, this building at East 87th Street became the new home of the organization and it remains so today. The organization continues to hold singing contests and to offer scholarships to young musicians.